Victims' rights advocates say Ohio is not protecting victims who are fearful of their attackers. And right now, there's no mandatory notification sent to victims when the accused get out of jail or prison. But a new proposal could change all of that, bringing Ohio in line with other states. I shouldn't have to do things like that and go out of my way to find out if we're still safe for the day. Dana Smith has been calling the courts and checking online every day to see if the suspect who confessed to setting her apartment on fire has been released from jail. She put our lives in danger. Go boy. Smith just moved back into her apartment with her two young sons. Go. After being homeless for more than two weeks. I don't have a lot of things. But I lost a lot. Her neighbor, 32-year-old Trista Muscle, told police she intentionally set the blaze. My kids didn't deserve this. They did not deserve this. Smith filed for a no-contact order, but was shocked to learn that notifications about Muscle's bond or release from jail were not automatic. And it's an issue victim advocates like Linda Johannick Giving the victim a voice. Says she deals with daily. What are the major gaps when it comes to victim rights? Victim notification is at the top. Johannick says a proposed amendment to broaden those rights and enhance notifications. Notice of the right to be present. Through what's known as Marcy's Law is sorely needed in Ohio. Well, we're second to the bottom. We're at some rights, and that's just not acceptable. Smith says it could finally help her feel safe. I want to be at every court hearing. I will be at every court hearing if I can. I will be. So that proposal will need to gather enough signatures. If it does, you will get the chance to vote on it in November. Of course, we will keep you updated.